Arch, how you doing? Very well, thank yourself. Yeah, it's been a while, mate. It has been a while, yeah. Because I guess, uh, I mean, last time I was going to see you, you were injured, and then obviously last time you were going to fight, the fight got called off. Yep. Um, and now here we are in your fairly new gym. Yeah, fairly new gym. Well, I've been here, come here just before last year, Christmas, so, um, so I've been here for a little while now, but like I said, I've had a, a, a fortunate start to the year, but it's all worked out. I'm looking forward to be back out on the 10th of July. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like I say, new gym, new trainer. Um, I, I come on to that in a minute, but I just wanted to quickly look back at your last fight, which is like, unbelievably, almost a year ago now. Yeah, it is, yeah, a year ago. And I mean, for someone like you, who's normally quite <coughs> active, that must be quite frustrating. Um, yeah, it has been frustrating, but also it's done me nothing but favours because I've learnt, like you say, I'm in a new gym with Al, Eddie and um, Paul and I've learnt so much being around all the boys, so it's, it's worked out for my best, for my best, do you know what I mean? And yeah, going back to that last fight, I mean, you, 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 you're promising fireworks, didn't quite work out no. as planned, in fact it couldn't have been any closer than 96, 95 in the end. No, do you know what, there's no excuses, at the end of the day, I needed that to make the change. I think if I never had that fight, what, what, what would I be doing now? Would I be waiting till another close fight and maybe not going my way, do you know what I mean? So in the, the day, it was a close fight. I got the decision, got the win, and that was when it was time to move on then and put the, leave Richard and, and start, start new. Yeah, I, how, how, how was that? Because obviously Richard's not just a, a trainer. You've been, he's like, you've been with him from day from one. Day, yeah, you? well, after that Jeff at Forey fight, we went back to the hotel till Two, about half two in the morning, and that's when we made the decision. I said, I'm not going to sleep until we've, we've solved what's happened tonight. And then we sat down, and then Richard was the one who said as well um, about coming down to ours and speaking with Al. And how was that for you personally? Was it a difficult thing to do? I mean, I know, obviously, you've said Richard, you know, you know Richard, pardon the pun, took it on the chin, but I mean... See, for myself, I've only got one boxing career. Trainers have... 10, 15, 20, so do you know what I mean? So when I sat down and spoke to him and said, look, Rich, I, th I think it's time for us to move on. I speak to him every day still, do you know what I mean? There's no hard feelings at all. He, he wants my best interest. He wants me to go and win my world title fight. And uh, to do that, I need to be around Al and, and the boys. And, and with Al, I mean, you, you know, you said there were a few problems last time um, in the fight, things you weren't happy with. I think you mentioned the jab, and I think on the mm. TV they mentioned... Um, um, Leaving your chin in the air, I oh, think. I don't, I don't think there was anything they didn't miss. Uh, there was every, everything that could have gone wrong that was mentioned. <laughs> thanks yeah. to Andy, uh, Andy Lee, so thanks very much. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so it is what it is. It was a great learning curve. I went back, sat down, listened to the criticism, listened to what everyone had to say. And at the end of the day, I can't, I can't fault it. Just before that fight, I was calling out the Framptons, the Shakurs, and then I had a poor performance like that. So, like I say, it is what it is. I've put that behind me, and now the 10th of July, we're here. And, uh, and let's just see if the critics are still there. <laughs> well, I guess sometimes it, it's, uh, you learn more from a fight like that than you would do by just you know, breezing someone out in two rounds. That's what I'm trying to say. At the end of the day, if, I didn't, if, if that never went the way it went, then I wouldn't be here today sitting here with a new team, talking to yourself in a new gym. Yeah, so, so what's Al, I mean, you've only been with him a relatively short time, but can you already see the improvements under Al? Yeah, 100%. And, um, Al and the team, they've been in the game very experienced and I, and I think they know, they, they've said it to myself that they've seen the improvements and that's the, that's the most, encouraging, uh, most encouraging thing about it I suppose, when you've got people like themselves who've been in the game, been around such great fighters and then when they're telling you yourself, look, you're at world level and, and the improvements are just second to none. And you've got a state, and there's a good little stable here, I mean, there's, you know, got a few of them here today, yeah. lads, does that help you training with... Yeah, it does. Yeah, it is. It's very. It is funny. It's def It's never a dull moment in this gym. Put it that way. <laughs> as you can, as you know, you had Dennis on here two minutes ago. Yeah, oh, good. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, well, my fourth child. Yeah, yeah. That is my fourth child. Oh, is you? <laughs> <laughs> you just say you got three kids at home, and then I've got three kids indoors. That's what I say to people now. I've got three kids indoors, and I've got one in the gym <laughs> with Dennis. <laughs> well, we just spoke to him a few minutes ago, and. Uh, he mentioned sparring with you that you got. Oh, you know, he probably he told me. He, what did he tell you? He had me over. Or yeah, yeah. Done, also, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, at least that. that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Loves it, doesn't he? If he spars Daniel Debar next week, he's had Daniel Debar over. So don't yeah, worry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good fun. You see, it, 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 you know, as well as because obviously boxing is not just a physical sport. It's mental. You've got to be right. You know, 
um, you've got to be mentally strong as well. And, I, and I, from what I've just seen being around this gym, it's a good camaraderie about the place. Everyone's having a bit of a crack well. If well. not, you get left behind. So you've got, to, you've got to be involved with the fun, haven't you? Yeah. OK, so we'll turn to July 10th, Diego Andrade. Um, you know, not a, not a pushover by any means. And it's no. for the, I've got to read this out, the WBO Global Super Featherweight title. Yeah, that is it. Yeah. So that's what Nakafili had. Um, obviously, now he's vaca he vacated it to fight Shakur Stevenson. Yeah. So now we step in, we fight for the, um, the Global. We win that on the 10th. And we move on. But yeah, like you say, the opponent, I've had a little butchers at him and I, I'll leave it down to the team. I've had a little look myself, but uh, typical Mexican style fighter. It's definitely, like you say, no pushover, but I'm here to put on a big performance and, and I'm, I'm very excited. Yeah, and back at the Albert Hall again, which is obviously back the Back at the Royal Albert Hall, as you know, yeah. As you know, Royal Albert Hall, um, famous little knockout with Declan Garrity. So we're back here for another one. Yeah, that was a, that was a hell of a knockout, mate. I mean, I, I haven't added up all the, the views on Twitter and Facebook and everything else, but it's... Uh, yeah, it's got done. some views, didn't it? Oh, amazing. It was, well, I was there on the night and it was incredible. It just came out of nowhere almost, <laughs> didn't it? But another one of them would be nice. Yeah, exactly that. Well, it's on the cards. Yeah, and then obviously since the, um, you know, I, I mentioned the inactivity before, but you've had... Um, You've had something to keep you busy because you just had a, another child, apart yeah. from Dennis, I mean. Yeah, so apart from Dennis, yeah, so I was, in, I was three, now I'm four. Um, but yeah, so she's in. Now that's what I'm saying about everything works for, works out, trust the process. I was supposed to be going to Telford that day and then my little girl was born that day. So she's got to trust it. And now I'm back at the Royal Albert Hall, ready for another, another knockout on the way. Yeah, last time I saw you, which was a while ago now, I mentioned Shakur, you mentioned Herring. Um, you mentioned Valdez, Are all these names still on your radar? Yeah, of course, even more so now, even more so. I think, I know I've said it a few times about everything happens for a reason and I probably bore people by saying it, but it's true because maybe a year or two ago when I was with Richard, them sort of fights, I'm calling them out, it, it, was, it weren't meant to be, where now I'm here, this is the perfect, everything just happened, I couldn't ask for anything better. And last time I spoke to Shakur, he claimed he'd never heard of you, but now but no, I believe having, you've been having a few Twitter exchanges. Yeah, we've had a few Twitter well, it, it, well, let's just see. Let him, let him think that, and then hopefully we'll accept the fight. <laughs> and then also, in and around that division, he sort of moves up and down. You've got Tank. Um, do you think he's the best of the lot? Strong kid, isn't he? He's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> strong, but I think, is he fighting at lightweight? Am I right by standing he's, like, he's lightweight at the moment, yeah. Oh, he's up yeah. and down. He doesn't yeah. know who's coming or going, does he? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, but no, it's, listen, it's, it's very exciting, very exciting. Even just the weight above me at lightweight, it's very exciting. If you've got some big, big names in, in the sport, and... I will be the best of them all. So we're going to see, it's going to see the real new improved Artie Sharp. Yeah, exactly. And I think it's fair to say that being a professional fighter, I'm 19 and 0, um, ranked number four in the WBO world rankings, and I still haven't shown the world of what I can do. So when people think, oh, why is he calling out Shakur? Why is he calling these fighters out? They're thinking, oh, is he deluded? But I know my ability. My team know my ability. Al was a very, very, very good trainer and he's been, and he, don't just look at us as fighters, there's a relationship there, he wouldn't put us in the ring if he thought, do you know what I mean, we was going to get beat and he knows that, he knows I've got it, got it in me to beat these fighters. Brilliant, well good luck on July 10th and look forward to seeing you out in the States next year maybe. Can't wait, thank you.